Hey y'all, so I'm gonna get right into it. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. What's going on? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. What else? Yeah, somebody gonna be getting to know each other during the holidays. Somebody's finally feeling like it's safe for them to come in. You deserve love. You are lovable. They feel like you are lovable and that you deserve this love. Somebody else could be dealing with self-worth issues, um, loving themselves at this current time. But this person feels like you make them happy. Um, loving you is safe. Somebody heart chakra is now opening up to receive this love. But um, we do have let go of control issues. Yeah, look, romantic feelings. Those feelings are real and worth exploring. Chemistry, flirt. But somebody is letting go of control or needing to. To not try to control this, to allow it to go with the flow. That's what your person is actually working on because these last few weeks, it's been showing like an obsessive, possessive type of energy um, that needs to be healed. We're like leaving that devil energy behind, like that ego, ego death, um, all of that is happening. Your person is going through a major awakening and a major transformation. They are not coming back to you the same person. Once you let go of the old version of yourself, best believe spirit is not going to allow this person to come in. This person won't even be a vibrational match. Um, if this person ain't a vibrational match, spirit won't even allow this person to come in. So if you're high vibrational and your person comes to you, it's because they are now a vibrational match and you will be able to feel the difference. So that's why it's best to work on you. Yeah, there's been a lot of healing. Look, healing and help from above. So this person has been getting help with their sadness. This person could have been very sad um, after going through a whole bunch of different things, a whole bunch of different lessons that just came out of nowhere. Um, how teachable are you? Are you willing to learn? Are you open to learning something new? Um, this person is learning um, about their spiritual side, their spiritual aspect. Let me see. I'm going to just put it like this. There's some things that maybe you need to learn or some things that you're learning. Somebody is learning how to manifest. Your manifestations are coming into fruition. They're asking for you to have faith about it. Yeah, look, and we got love and self-love. Love and self-love. For one, the more you love yourself, the more you're starting to glow, and the more this person notices. Um, this person loves you. Your person loves you. And your person is watching you. Look at this card. A little creep. <laughs> A little stalker. But I'm quite sure you've been doing the same thing, but I feel like you've been working like um, more on yourself more on loving you and being becoming your best self, okay? And by that, your person is ready to come towards you. They've been procrastinating a lot. This person views you, um, I ain't gonna lie, in a sexual way. Um, they view you in a high honor. They view you as high honor. They also view you in a sexual way. Of course, this person is kind of you know, lusty when it comes to you. They think about you, especially at night. But those are things that this person is trying to heal. This person could have been healing from, like, sex addictions and stuff like that. But now, they are addicted to you sexually. Like, you're their favorite thing to watch. Like, when they wake up, when they go to sleep. Like, they think about you. Let's see. What would you like to add to this spirit? So they're saying focus on the self-love. Know that you're worthy of this. Do affirmations. Do positive affirmations each day um, before you go to sleep. Like make it a routine. 
um, because it just makes you feel better when you speak speak highly of yourself and look in the mirror, tell yourself you're beautiful, you're loved. Um, don't worry about what's going on around you. I mean, if you made mistakes, it's okay. Don't live in it. Don't dwell on it. Um, you can feel the emotions, but then get yourself out of that because what you think you manifest, um, what you speak you manifest. So we want to manifest positive things. What else you want to add to this spirit? Anything from this deck? Family rum with a wealthy man. So there's somebody looking at you that wants a family with you. This person could be wealthy financially. Um, yeah, could have had maybe some type of inheritance or something. But um, this person could just work hard. This person may have their own business. And they want to build a family with you. This person views you as the person they want to have a home with. This person is manifesting this with you. Manifesting a family. This person is learning to have faith when it comes to this connection. It was too many people involved. Too many energies involved at first. But this person has realized a lot of things. This person has a spiritual understanding. This person is evolving spiritually. Um, when it comes to the community, I feel like this is spirit that has been helping you guys come in coming to fruition because you see them in the background that's why it's best to surrender at this time don't run don't chase just be still and surrender because spirit is guiding you guys to to each other and i ain't gonna lie it's a whole community that's under review when it comes to this connection um you could have went through something and a whole bunch of people were against you lying on you trying to do a smear campaign on your name whether it was family friends or whoever Trust me, it's harvest season, and it's, it's just a season. So, regardless, everybody's getting their justice, okay? You're getting your karmic justice. And for a lot of these karmics, they're getting the shitty end of the stick. They're getting what they put out to the world. That's what you get back. It's a whole community under review that's going through some bad karma, and it's about to come in fast if it didn't happen already. And that's why I was meant for you to, like, disconnect with certain people because... These people you actually genuinely love, whether they loved you back, you know, somebody can love you and not like you. Like, I love that person, but I don't really like them. You get what I'm saying? You may have just had haters. Like, some of you are young and, and got grown old folks hating on you, jealous of you, mad, envy you. It's your energy that you absorb. You can't buy that. Everybody don't ain't come like you. Everybody ain't built like you. We are all different. We're all made different for a reason. But instead of them learning from you, they just hated on you and went out of their way to try to destroy you, but, but try to be like you. No worries. Everything is working out for the greatest good. For your greatest good. There's an ending to a lot of um, people, places, and things. What else, Spirit? Yeah, there's a big change that's about to happen. And it's going to happen suddenly. Yeah. Somebody mother could have been involved with this situation. What else there? Message of concern. Somebody is thinking of you. Somebody is very sad thinking of you. Um... This person feels like they know they have a lot to learn when it comes to spiritually. I feel like this person wishes that they may have understood you then or maybe, you know, asked you to teach them at that time. But this person had, you know, this person was just in a different vibration, a different mindset. But this person is definitely thinking of you. And I feel like this person could be sad. Look, this person views you in high honor. Like I said, uh-huh. There's a message of concern, and that's this person's sadness. But this person views you as high honor, okay? And so does spirit. Spirit views you as high honor, too. You're on a high-ranking level. Remember, you, you are God. You are goddess. God is within you. You don't have to look outside yourself. Like, I, I still, to this day, catch myself saying he or like looking outside of myself 
that's what we was taught, you know, and um, for the loads of us. But just because we was taught something doesn't mean it's the truth and no disrespect to anybody. But um, stop looking outside yourself. You don't need advice all the time from other people. You don't need outside energy to guide you. If you go within, if you take time to quiet your mind, if you take time to do the work, you'll be able to, um, you know, get your, get your own advice, okay? Because I follow my own advice. You'll be able to hear your intuition speak to you. You'll be able to hear the angels. You'll be able to feel it. It's a feeling sometimes. Sometimes it's not words. Sometimes words can't describe the feelings. You get what I'm saying? So take this time to really truly start meditating. Like even if you fall asleep when you meditate, even if sometimes you meditate and then you start thinking about 99 things when your mind pulls be quiet, but at least you're taking the effort to do so. The music is calming, calming the nerve nervous system, you know, balancing out the chakras and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a privileged lady here. You're about to get married. Usually I look at the privileged lady as the karmic energy, 3-3. Three, three. But I'm I'm looking at this as you. You are now the privileged lady that is about to get married. And whoever this privileged lady is, if it was the karmic energy um, that your person could have married or was about to get married to or living with, had a family with, whatever the situation is, that person is in despair. Because they are no longer privileged. Your person has hopped on their own journey. They have figured things out. Okay? Your person has matured. Yeah. This person went through some bad karma for um, the things that they may have done to you. Okay? When they were in that dark place. Listen, I'm telling you, them tables, one thing about them tables, what do they do? They definitely turn. Give me some more messages here. One thing about them tables, they definitely turn. What else? I just seen twin flame. Ring with a key. Key to the rings. Hammer. Sabotage. Rebuilding. Yeah, this person is ready to rebuild. This person realizes they sabotage this whole situation. This person is very concerned. They're concerned that you may move on because this person recognizes your worth, your beauty. This person recognizes you. And they're like shit and bricks because it's like, damn, what if I I went through all this and I finally see this person for who they are? What if I lose them? What if that's my karma? This person is very concerned. And it makes them sad when they think about it. Um but spirit is trying to help them to heal that sadness and, you know, that dark place. Okay. But this person ended, ended it. If you were worried about um, them in that karmic relationship. See, for some of you, this is about to happen. Those of you who are new on this journey or if you're not sure if you are even on the journey at all, this may not resonate with you. But for those of you who have been on this journey for a minute and you know you have gone through this whole emotional roller coaster when it comes to this connection you're about to reap your rewards um your season your time is now divine timing is here you could be seeing 333 a lot you could be seeing all the angel numbers because they're trying to tell you um what level you at and where you at where you're at you can look up angel numbers i look at sacred subscribe angel numbers Remember, if you're posting a lot on social media because you're feeling like anxious or you're going through something, um, it's time to slow down because you don't want to leak the energy for those of you who are new on this journey. There was an ending that happened suddenly and fast to that connection. This person has been, your person has been in a hermit mode, but watching you, keeping an eye on you. And feeling sad and depressed and healing themselves. They can't come to you in that type of energy. Um, spirit wants them to raise their vibration. So that's what they've been doing. Your person may have left you as a page or a knight. But it's coming back as a emperor. And it's going to happen suddenly. This is a tower moment that happened. 
this person is interested in talking to you. They want to they wanna talk to you. They want to express some of the things that they've been going through. Um, this person is sad without you, lost without you. Um, this person finally feels what you have felt this whole time when it comes to this connection. And remember in the beginning, you know, how you had, you had to overcome so much divine feminine. And now these masculines are, are going through the same thing and they're feeling those same feelings, those, those yearning and longing and needing to talk. They didn't understand why you were chasing. You wasn't chasing because you were desperate. You were chasing because you found the one, but they just didn't know it. they like, oh, <laughs> they ran. But now the tables are turning. So instead of being in that runner chaser dynamic where now you running from him or her, just surrender so that you guys can finally face each other with a, a um, higher understanding now of this journey and what um, you mean to each other. Okay. This person want to date you and guess who want to date you? Okay. Um, the person that you're about to marry, okay? The person that you are about to marry, this wealthy man, you guys are going to have money. I ain't going to lie. Like, both of you, I feel like you are each other's muse anyway. So when you come around each other, like, like major ideas start to come. Because remember, like, when you're around the right person, you start to feel, you know, motivated, like, if, if you haven't been going to the gym, but this person goes to the gym, you like, oh, you know, because this is the feeling that you get when you're around the right ones. So literally, you motivate each other. You inspire each other. And right now, you have been secretly inspired him. You have a secret admirer. And this person is smitten over you. Because now this person recognizes you for who you are. You're not afraid to be yourself. You're not afraid to do or say the things that other people may be afraid to say. And this person just admires that about you. This person is brave like that too. Because with, with other people, they are that way. But when it came to you, they just like <laughs> hid who they truly were. They couldn't, like they didn't want to let you see who they were. But you saw it anyway. <laughs> And that they they're impressed by that too as well because they can hide who they are very well, and that was a defense mechanism that was for their protection after going through so many things from childhood on. And these are the deep rooted things that your person is healing. Um, you may have taken two, three, six, seven, eight, ten, some ten, you know, and above years to get all this spiritual knowledge and. These masculines are about to like cram it all in in a short amount of time. You get what I'm saying? They've been learning as they've been going, but they haven't really, you know, it didn't really hit them because their third eye was covered. Even, even if they think it wasn't covered, if they still were in karmic relationships, their third eye was covered. But now that they could see clear, that means they could see that devil within those people that has they have been around all this time and it's a sadness with that because for one they have to let go of so many people that they actually love for two they had these people around them and these people were misusing and abusing them behind their back and they couldn't see it but now they can see clearly so it's, it is sad and disheartening and that's something that needs to be healed too because you got to learn to forgive yourself when those type of situations arise you got to learn to forgive yourself and you learn to forgive those people, not for them, but for you. You know, um, you know, I do personal readings and I don't mind reading whoever, but it's really hard to, um, I don't prefer to do people who choose, who doesn't choose the divine. Let's just put it like that. Um, I prefer to do people who choose the divine because, um, you know, at least you have a spiritual understanding of where you're going in life. But if you don't choose the divine, it's, I can't really help you because that's just not my mission. You know, it's like pulling, pulling teeth. Like I, I ain't no dentist, you know. Um, this person wants to marry you. They're saying have faith. 
You will have enough money to do everything that you want to do. This person is learning to let go of control issues. This person is recognizing you are their person that is safe to love you. They didn't know if it was safe to love you because this person didn't love themselves enough. And the more that they love themselves, the more that they love you. They recognize who you are. You make this person happy. This person wants to get away with you. You the person that they want to marry, period. They want you to have that last name, okay? Um, the Grum Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So with those karmic, those karmics that's now chasing the divine masculine. Karmics is chasing the divine masculine. And the divine masculine is trying to heal somewhere, okay, in hermit mode. All right. Um, and and about to chase you. Many options, this decisions. This person ended it with that person. This person, your person ended it with a karmic energy because they may have found out this person was cheating and stringing them along. Yeah. And this person, your person is running from them because they're self-indulged, focusing on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work. The karmic taught your person a heavy lesson. Okay. The karmic does not know what your person is doing and they're like watching tarot readings and stuff like that to try to find out what's really truly happening with your person and what's really happening whether they know it or not see this is the thing they can't stop what's faded you're highly protected and highly guarded that's why you allow the angels and allow the ancestors and your spirit team to guide you and protect you and to guard you you're protected and you're safe and you're loved and you're highly favored of high honor you're leveled up Okay, and your spirit team wants you to know that it's, you have nothing to worry about when it comes to these karmic energies. And the more that they try to hurt you, the bigger the, the bigger the hole they dig in themselves, Grim Reaper. Yeah, they cut that karmic off, period. Your person is rising from the ashes. Your person has walked through the depths of hell to get to this point. Sometimes you got to go through hell to get to heaven. And that's what happened. This person learned a great amount of lessons. And now abundance ahead. Yeah, this person was stabbed in the back with this karmic relationship. But it, it, is, it helped them to ascend. This karmic wasn't for nothing. It was to teach them the lessons. Teach them, um, you know, the tough lessons about themselves. And how other people can really, like, go out their way to try to hurt you. Like, especially for money. These dark entities, you know, they play with this darkness and, you know, they trap their soul. You're not here to sell your soul. You're here to find your soul. You're here to remember who you are. And now this person is remembering who they are. And the more they remember who they are, the more they recognize you. You were never a stranger to them. Transcending obstacles. Learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union, period. Okay? And it's nothing nobody can do about it. Um, this person wants to bring stability and security in your life. Wants to bring growth. <coughs> yeah. That shit is door knobby. Excuse my language. If they were living together, yeah, they no longer live together. Because I actually was supposed to put that Grim Reaper card under the family room. But um, these karmics are trying to manifest. The, um, they're doing spell work still to try to manifest the masculine to come back. But remember, the masculines don't really like chasers. You get what I'm saying? That's why they ran from you. When you chase something, they run. There's nothing that this karmic can do anymore. This karmic is desperate. And, and it's not because they love your person. It's because they just don't want your person to be happy. And they don't want you to have them. Their mission is to stop the union. Um, but it's nothing they can do at this point. All they little kitchen magic. You know, and some of them, you know, had got some heavy hitters or whatever. That's why you went through a lot of shit. And also, um, it was multiple people. You, It was people doing magic on you that you ain't even know. You ain't, like, why? Like, people that you don't even know or people... That don't have nothing to do with you, but because you are a light energy and they just didn't like your light when they met you or when they seen you, 
they decided to put you on a hit list. But guess what? Spirit is watching the whole thing and there's nothing they can do about it. Remember, this 1111 portal coming up. That's union bound. That's union energy. Remember, union with yourself is the most important. <laughs> Find that inner union. Balance out that masculine and feminine that's within you. Okay? And then that will bring in the reunion with your person. Because once you're whole and complete, that means you and your person are ready to align. You are aligned on a 5D level. And then what's left is to just bring, <clears throat> bring it into fruition on a 3D. All right, I'm going to pull a couple of these real quick, y'all. If he could say anything right now. What would it be? Okay. Your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again. So some of you may have spoken your mind or told them about their self. And that could have been another reason why they, they stayed silent. They were scared. And... I don't call masculine cowards. No, that's not what they are. When you understand <clears throat> this journey from a spiritual aspect, their throat chakra is being activated too. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Um, their throat chakra is being activated to speak to you. Um, but the silence felt safer because they know they messed up. This was a lot that they had to face, realizing who you are. I miss looking into your eyes and into your soul. Mm -hmm. You brought out the best in me. I came alive in your presence. Remember I, I just said like you inspired him. I kept up a facade to the world, but you always saw past it and into my soul. Mm -hmm. These are just confirmation cards. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. Mm -hmm. That's because they're changing. And now that they don't recognize themselves in the mirror, that's what we wanted. Because now they're looking at their self in the mirror and saying, who are you? Like, what have they become? Some of them became monsters. And now they're unlearning all the stuff that they had to learn and relearning what's, who, they're, who they truly are. Our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. Yeah, um, I'm getting this karmic energy. And it's not just the karmic uh, partner as karmic family members people try to tell this masculine that you were a bad person because of what you do if you're into tarot and stuff like that they they painted and and because these masculines didn't really understand tarot and stuff like that and the spirituality they really painted you as this demonic person and even at one point your masculine was believing it or could have you know Add their two cents to it because they had no clue. But now they're realizing they were wrong. They listened to the wrong people. They allowed the wrong people to, what they were doing was manipulating this masculine. But this masculine third eye was closed. Their chakra, chakras was unbalanced and out of whack. No matter how intelligent you are, um, the heart and the brain is two different things. The heart doesn't need the brain to think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Heart has its own brain. The heart is the soul. It's the gateway to the soul. And this person's heart is finally open. So now they're finally finding out who they are. Last but not least, I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath. This person thinks about you day and night all the time. They can't stop thinking about you. In a way you make them feel. Um, this person is about to communicate with you very shortly. Um, I feel like this person ran from the karmic without letting them know what was going on. Because some of these karmics are psychopaths. They have um, major mental health issues. So they couldn't like just say like, I'm leaving, it's over. Like, some of these karmics wouldn't just allow them to leave like that. Like, you know, fatal attraction type energy. Um, but your person, it's nothing to worry about. Your person has found their way out and they're finding their way back to you. Okay? Trust and have faith. Say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.